The Indiana State Fair kicks off today and they're doing so with coronavirus at the top of mind. That's right. Our own Kelsey Anderson is joining us live from the fairgrounds this morning. Kelsey, a lot of families may be deciding should they go out to the fair this year? So tell them what precautions are officials taking as they're heading out there to 38th and Fall Creek? Almost. Hey, good morning, Lauren. So the first thing I want to tell you is what you need for the fair. So obviously you're going to need good walking shoes. I use a fanny pack so I can be hands free. Of course, you're going to want water. Um, some, some guests are going to be encouraged to have their masks with them. And then one thing that I really think is cool is the Indiana State Fair app. I've gotten into a different little area of it, but you can schedule everything. You can see everything that's going on the day is ahead of yours. You're going to the fair. You can click on them if you're interested, in them, add them to your schedule. But there's a lot of new things happening this year at the fair, including the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show. So I'm here with Sharon Smith this morning. Tell me a little bit about all the new stuff that's happening this year at the fair. You know, we have so many new family friendly activities going on, um, obviously. The lumberjack show, axe throwing, log rolling, so much fun. Um, we've got new fair food this year, 23 new fair food items in our Taste of the Fair competition. People can vote on it. It's a great time. Awesome. And so the elephant in the room is obviously COVID-19 is still a thing. It's still happening. The fair was canceled last year. What COVID protocols are in place this year at the fair? You know, we won't require our guests to wear a mask if they're fully vaccinated. However, however we do recommend that they follow CDC guidelines and wear their mask indoors. Um, if you're not fully vaccinated, we do recommend that you follow CDC guidelines. And um, right now they are encouraging non-vaccinated people to wear masks. Okay, and so tell me a little bit about, you know, it's, an, it, it's a pretty big outdoor venue, so there's plenty of room for social distancing, things like that. Yeah, we have no capacity restrictions. Um, we are a 250-acre campus, very uh, broad, open spaces, and most of the fair is outdoors. But we do have some indoor buildings programmed, so again, we re would recommend that people wear masks indoors. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. And again, I want to show you that Indiana State Fair app. This is what it looks like. You can get it on Apple and Android phones. But if smartphones aren't your thing, of course, they do have information centers throughout the entire fairgrounds that you can grab those maps, grab that schedule for the day if need be. And we want to remind you again that the fair is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays this year. That's new, but you are going to get an extra weekend of fair time. So that starts today and it ends on August 22nd. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.